been rained on, and I been rained on. Oh, I've got another pair of oh, oh glasses on. I don't know why, I just thought I'd put them on. I thought I looked snazzy, all right? You might not think I did, but I think I did. Um, and it's with great regret to say my nostril pickers are off. My nostril pickers come are off because um, I I had the Tipex on and they've lasted like 30 days. I have never had acrylics last that long, to be honest. But there was only three left on them. Um, so obviously I thought, let me just drill them off and get them off. So they're ready for a new set. However, um, I've got hospital appointments coming out my batty. Uh, in the foreseeable next week or so, uh, I got appointments Monday. I got appointments Tuesday. I got appointments Wednesday. I got appointments. Oh, pardon me. I got appointments Thursday. I think Thursday I've got a day off, and then I got appointments Friday. Yeah, it's all go for Lily Lows. I tell you, or Lily Lumps, lumps because I got me trumps. All right, but yeah. So this is look. I got what's this gangrene? I don't know. I, don't, I mean, obviously, when you put nails on, it does damage your nails underneath. Look, look, they're so damaged. Look, this is a uh, rheumatism here, I think, coming out. I'm falling to pieces. Pieces. Callie loves that song. I don't even know who sings it, but anyhow, anywho, I'd like to say thank you to one of my wonderful subscribers because she texted me and she remembered or she said her friend used to play at work the song I was telling you is about that ah, can I take it no more and I've been looking for it for years and she I can't remember his name but anyway I found it and I was like the crying song she found me the crying song that I'd wanted for so long I mean it's horrendous but I like it because it cracks me up makes me laugh anyway and she was like is it this one and I was like one minute I went and I had to look and I was like, oh my God, I'm crying. Obviously not crying, crying. I was crying laughing. I was like, that's the one she found it for me. So thank you for that, my darling. Thank you. Oh, I was like, yeah, I got it. Um, So <sighs> Axel's not well, really not well today. He uh, has been falling over, so his balance has gone. And I booked for him to go next Friday. So that was Axel's appointment. But then um, I noticed that he was falling on his side. He was like falling over a bit and I oh, just got worried. So I phoned up the vets and I said, look, I haven't been able to get a lot of his medication in him just a bit. And I don't want to give him any today because he's really not good. And they just said, um, leave him. So I've put some of his medicine in his water. I don't think he's going to really have it, to be honest. They said, just leave him um, and make sure there's not too much noise and cover him over with a blanket. So that's what I've done. But now, just actually, I just went and uncovered him a bit because he's it's sitting in darkness, you know what I mean, the whole time. So I undone it and I say, hi, Eugene Poo Jean, it's my mum. That's what I say to him. But you know what, little sod, right? Oh, he might be ill, very, very ill, but not ill enough to still try and bite my fingers. I said, mummy loves you. And he's going, mm. Oh, a little git, I tell you. But I don't care, you can bite my fingers off as long as he's all right. Do you know what I mean? That's the only bloody thing in it when you get animals. Especially if you're that soft kind of person. Do you know what I mean? And, and you love them. You do. Because the thing is, people like... I never forget, right? When one of my hamsters died, yeah? Was it Lila? I've had quite a lot of hamsters. I've had Teddy, Delta, Lila and Chandler. Chandler, he was a character. He was, he was a little shit. He was like a big white rat. I think they sold me a rat, actually, to be honest. But um, yeah, it was funny. And I used to bath them and they loved it. I'd do like a, like a, a big, uh, you know, like the storage boxes. And I'd fill it up with a little bit of water. And I'd put all their uh, playthings in it. And then, obviously, as they're running around, because I didn't like it. And don't get me wrong, don't think they liked it because they didn't. But I was like, you're having a bath and that's it, all right? The only one I've actually not bathed is Sean because once he had a bit of poo on his bum and when I tried, he jumped out the bath. He was so petrified and I had to try and grab him. And if he jumps and breaks his legs, he's done for. So Sean is the only animal that I haven't bathed. You're not meant to really bath rabbits anyway. But Rupert, my guinea pig, I used to bath him. But he liked it. Rosie was all right with it. He just sit there. Little buck teeth, loving it, bless him. Oh, he was a good boy, my Rosie. 
and all the others, all the uh, dwarf hamsters, and I had Russian dwarf hamsters and then normal hamsters, but Lila, um, Lila died of cancer, um, I think she was only about six months old, and I'd noticed that she wasn't being able to fit into her home, and it was because the tumours were quite big at the back, so obviously Lila had to be put to sleep. Um, my little Teddy, he lives still gone too. He loved Nutella. Every morning he'd hear me, yeah, and he's not meant to give him Nutella, but he still lived till two, which is what they lived till, and he'd climb up to the top of his cage and wait for his bit of, little bit of Nutella on toast. So I used to give that to him. Uh, so Lila, Teddy, but um, yeah, I remember um, Delta, he just died of old age. I think he was nearly three, my little Delta. Um, was it Lila or was it Teddy? No, I think it was Teddy. Because I remember when uh, Teddy eventually was put to sleep, sleep, I think it was about £116 later, um, he, no, I got upset. And this was, I'm not going to say the name of the vet, although Callie, when she was little, because we had Teddy when she was little. And because of what happened, every time we'd drive past Medivet, she'd go to Medivet. Oh, I've just said it! Oh! All right, you don't know who it is, but you don't know which one. But anyway, she says that they killed Teddy Boo. So every time we used to drive past Medivet, she'd go, <laughs> Medivet, growl at them. <laughs> oh, dear. But anyway, this is the thing. When you do have animals that you do love and then they die, you know. But anyway, so going back to that, I remember I was in this Medivet. That's what, I was wanting, that's what the whole thing was about. And when I was still, they put me to sleep. I, I was crying. And they patronised me in there, and I thought, listen, to you, he's just a little ten-pound hamster. To me, Callie loved him, and he's part of my family. All right, and she was really patronising because when I was crushing, oh, bless ya, oh bless ya, oh bless ya. Should have given her the cups, mate. I tell you, but anyway, and that's the only thing when you have animals, and people can say like, oh, they're just animals. No, no. No, they're not just animals like I say they become part of your family and I've had Axel and Aurora now for 10 years it's actually coming on 11 and I love them so oh, I may not be able to get them out I may not be able to interact with them in that way but I love them so at the end of the day you know um I mean luckily enough my mental health pills they help me block out a lot of the emotional side um but I sometimes sit and think to myself, you know, could you just imagine if I didn't have them anymore and with all what's happened in my life and like with my dad and if you ever think, would it all just come crashing down? Would I, would I not cope? I don't, I don't, I don't know anyway. I don't know. I see my psychologist. I mean, I'll talk to them, but they're going to say, well, don't worry about that because they're not going to be discontinued, which they're not. But I start, I think weird things with my brain. I think of nuclear wars and stuff like that, like The Walking Dead. Are we going to end up like apocalyptic and then there's no, there's no clomipramine for me? Oh, dear. They're the things that go through my head, honestly, on a regular basis. Well, nearly every day, actually, because I'm actually, I, I am off my trolley. Um, but so what? Anyway, what is normal? What is normal? Anyway, listen. Oh, before I do get into this all, I've got to tell you, I only got kicked out of bingo, didn't I? Yeah, and he got kicked out. Because they talk shit, all right? They talk. I'm going to get closer to you to tell you this story, all right? They talk shit. Sorry about the ring light. Let me take them off. They talk shit. I'll tell you why they talk shit. Now, check this out. There's some elderly people who may not be able to work a computer or things on their phone, or whatever, all right? There is people that can't do it. Obviously, I can. But anyway, let's just say we went to the bingo hall and someone who was with us had lost their uh, card years ago. So they're trying to uh, put in their email address and a few other... Anyway, it just did not comply. It was not complying. And the manager... Uh, she said, oh, you just have to do it again. You just have to do it again. So they're trying again, they're trying again, they're trying again. And uh, no, it weren't computing. So I said, so what does that mean? What does that mean? Um, if he can't put his email address in, what does that mean? So they're like, um, well, he can't come in then, he can't play. I said, are you... 
Oh, oh, the air was blue. I said, are you effing joking me? I said, you're taking a piss. Uh, and she went, no. So I, she said, that's just how it is if you want to play. I don't know where she was from. I don't know. She could have been Polish or Russian or something. I don't know. She sort of spoke like that. So I said, but not everybody can, as an email. I said, so So she said, then there's all the way. I'll tell you, sir, oh, I'm surprised she didn't get up a cut, right? I'll tell you what, shove a broom up me ass, and I'll sweep the floors as I go along, honestly. Well, it cut off again, which means that my editors are so crap. I mean, they're so crap that you end up, I end up looking like I'm really dark, even with this bright ring light on. So again, this video, you might have already said, well, you would have already seen it now because I need to edit onto this. Um, and my two editors I got, they're just crap. I mean, really, it says I need to delete a load of stuff from my phone, but I could, some, certain stuff I don't want to delete on now. Um, I don't know what I was saying to you now. Yep, don't know what I was saying to you now. I'm really sorry. So... Without further ado, I am going to get onto this hole. Yeah, I've just lost it. Oh, because in between, as soon as it uh, cut off, I had moaming troll. Cut my hair for me, ma'am. So I've just had to snip the bottom of her hair off. Because oh, she said uh, it was fuzzy. It's not really fuzzy, to be honest. That's just moomins. She always thinks her hair's fuzzy. It's not fuzzy. <gasps> okay. So, before I do anything, I'm going to read a couple of facts. The seeds of apples contain trace amounts of cyanide. Fact or fiction? Fact. It is a fact. Doesn't cherries do that as well? I'm sure I heard something once where a woman boiled up a load of cherries and fed, cherry pips and fed them to her husband. Oh. Some fungi, or fungi, can infect ants, central nervous system, to create zombie ants. Fact or fiction? It's fact. Zombie ants. The bite you, I'll tell you, I bet. Charlie Chaplin once lost a Charlie Chaplin lookalike contest. Yes, I heard that. Fact or fiction? Fact. He came third. Can you believe that? He had gone in for this competition, a Charlie Chaplin lookalike competition. He thought, I'm going to enter this probably for the crack. He come third. And he was really Charlie Chaplin. Craziness. The inside of a tennis ball is made from wool. Fact or fiction? Fiction. It's made from rubber surrounding a hollow centre. Anyone remember putting the tennis ball in the sock? And then you stand with your back against the wall and you go, Want a cigarette, sir? No, sir. Why, sir? Because I got a cold, sir. Where'd you get the cold, sir? From the North Pole, sir. Do you remember that? You better not remember it. <laughs> it. Or oh, you better remember it, should I say. The marbs are gone, I'm telling you. The marbs are gone. I'm losing my memory and stuff as well by the day. Anyway, it's time for my 1,227 facts that I've not done in a little while. Oh, yes, it absolutely is. <laughs> right. 99% of Austrians are German, though most Austrian, Austrians insist that they aren't. In denial. It is commonplace for Austrians to claim that Hitler was in fact a German, whereas Beethoven was really an Austrian. These all going right over me, do you know what I mean? Beethoven was of Belgian extraction, and there are no moles in Ireland. Really? I wonder why that is. There's no moles in Ireland. Oh, aren't they gorgeous? Something about that big, aren't they? Little things burrowing out of the uh, out of the earth. Yeah. Yeah, so anyway, that was my 1,227 facts blow socks off. Right, I've got a charity shop haul, okay? So, um, I saved, um, I saved it because one was from Stevenage when I had to go for a hospital appointment. Well, I never can, it did. Um, and then I went to a charity shop in Stevenage and the other one is from my local town. So I thought, I'll wait till I've got a couple of bits and then I can show you all. Damn, are you beautiful girls? They only want to do you dirt. They'll have you suicidal. Who sang that? Suicidal when you say it's over. I don't, can't remember. Some dude. 
Anyhow, any here. Yes, I know. Don't be, don't be thinking, wow, look at them hands. For hands that do dishes can feel soft as your face. Yeah, I couldn't be hand advert, could I? Anyway, let's get on with this, all right. Okay, before I show you the cherry bits, I also um got a couple of bits that I got from uh uh in Stevenage Pound Land, was it? And they've been over there for about 23 years. Yeah, so anyway, our first thing I got was this Astonish Fresh Linen, and it was a pound. Pound, pound. One pound fish, one pound fish. Let's have a smell. I can smell today a bit better. I'm still a bit blocked up, don't get me wrong, but I can smell, yes. Yeah, so I got that for a squid -o. And then I always like to get these. These were, I think they were £1.25. They're the colour absorbers. So I always put them in with like a mixed wash, just so nothing runs. Or if it does, it gets caught in the good old colour catchers. I really do highly recommend these. I have them all the time. All right. Oh, yes, I do. Uh, and then this smells divine. I smell it in there. It's the Imperial Leather hand wash the original so do you mean and i remember when i was a kid back in the 80s my mum and dad always had imperial leather and that's what you'd bath yourself because you know you might have had a bit of matey bubble bath but there weren't really i don't remember as a kid being there being a lot of shower gels and there certainly weren't hand soaps it was just a soap scrub yourself with that and that was it um but the original imperial leather smells so nice i thought oh it's in a hand wash i'll get some of that and i think it was a quid oh god it smells gorgeous i always remember my dad yeah would shout out the window on a sunday my sister's called tammy by the way and we used to dread it because we just wanted to play out we never wanted to come in and every sunday it'd probably be about i don't know six seven o'clock he'd open the top window and say lisa tammy bath we'd go Ooh. so we're going for our bath but it was always nice because my mum made a sunday tea afterwards which she would do like because we'd always have a Sunday roast and then after our bath she'd either make crumpets and tea or sometimes she'd do like little ham and cucumber sandwiches, pickled onions, you know, cheese and crackers, celery. And I love my celery with a load of salt and salad cream on it. Gorgeous. She'd always make a tea every single Sunday without foul. You know what I mean? But then back in the day we'd sit around the table and eat. Don't do that nowadays, do you? And if you do, everyone's scrolling on their phone. Uh, anyway, then me and Callie got one of these each because they smell so nice. Uh, I think, again, they was a pound. They are Astonish Shower Creams and Moisturising Cozy Cashmere with scents of Jasmine and Ylang Ylang. Or Ylang Ylang, Ylang Ylang. I think that's how you say it. And like I said, there was a pound each. I think I have got gangrene. It's because I wash my hands all the time. It just gets under the nails. I mean, I can't smell too much. I did smell the Imperial Leather, but my nose is still a bit blocked. But I did smell it in the shop, all right? Uh, and then I got this, and it is uh, Summer Crush. Your soulmate, Summer Crush Fabulosa Spotless Kitchen. I think that was a squid as well. So, yeah. Oh, I've got itchy nose. Did you ever find... When you get a cough or cold, you get a lot of Humphreys. A lot of Humphreys, all right? Now, I'm not saying I love picking my nose. I'm not saying I don't love picking my nose. <laughs> Dirty cow, aren't I? Anyway, yeah. So, that's that. Anyway, so the charity shop. Uh, the one from Stevenage. I found this for 75p. And what even is it? Oh, my nude. Air dry. Okay, so air dry, um, air dry. What does it even do? Oh, okay. Country, natural. Fair. Right, so I've got it for 75p, and I think what you do, you put it on your roots, yeah, and it makes your hair, like, stand up. You know what I mean? It gives it this volume, but it's full. It's literally full, and I thought for 75p, you can't get wrong, can you? So I got that. And then in there, I got this shirt. 
I don't know if I'm going to look a bit like Mr. Tumble in it. If anyone doesn't know who he is, he's the uh, children's entertainer. And he, he, he does sign language, Mr. Tumble. Callie used to watch him, he's still going. Right, it was four quid and this shop was RE. It was a charity shop. Was it the Salvation Army? Can't remember. But anyway. So it's extra, extra large, and I just loved the colours because I like flamboyant colours. So it's got like a elastic sleeve which comes down to like your elbow. And do you know what? I'm looking at it now. I'm thinking the books ain't going to get in it. Why did I think the books was ever going to get in it? Extra, extra large. It was four pounds. Uh, yeah. That's the collar, like that. But it's really nice. I'm just not sure about the books. And I will have to obviously wash it. I mean, it's not a bit of stretching it, but I don't want it tight on the books. Do you know what I mean? But anyway, that's the first thing. I don't know if it's going to fit my fatness. We'll see. Um, and then I got this. I thought, oh, this has been asked for kind to the Caravano. So it says one size, and it was a bit steep at six quid, but I liked it, and I thought, ooh, you, what did I say, you lot? I liked it, and I thought, I'm getting it. I am, and I did. All right? So it's an all-in-one. Now, I don't know what you lot think, but I think I'm going to look absolutely dangerous in it. <laughs> Again, I just hope it fits the books. So it's very colourful, like that. Oh yeah, I think that'll fit me. I mean, I've got a big books, but it's pretty. But it's pretty large. Look, it's got all these lovely colours in it, and there's the legs. Look nice with a pair of flippy flirts, wouldn't it? Like so. It's kind of like I would say tie dye, but it ain't really tie dye. Well, I don't know. I suppose it might be a bit. But anyway, yes, I got that. Oh, I can't wait to get it in the wash and try it on. Look, I look like I got bazooka. What's that thing? I used to love bazookas. Bazooka chewing gums when I was little bubble gums, the pink ones. I made like a little joke in, or was it a transfer? I can't remember. But I liked them. Anyway, then I see these. Now listen, all right. It was a mistake. Um, looking on it now, it was a mistake because. I've got to clean these mofos, all right, before they go on my feet. I don't know what I was thinking of. What was you thinking of, Lisa? I told you it's my brain. So anyway, also, I don't know who I think I am or where the goddamnness I think I'm even going in these, all right? They are high. I mean, I suppose I could wear them for a meal. Not like if you just dropped outside the door and you've got to only walk up one step or something and then you're just going to sit your ass down. I should be all right. But anyway, so I got these for three pounds. They're kind of like Cinderella shoes. Mind you, I'm like one of the ugly sisters. I mean, she only had little feet. These were clodhoppers, size eight, size eights. But anyway, it was only three pounds. I mean, if I can't walk on them, I'll put them on Fintando. But I probably would only be able to put them on for one ninety nine Because, pardon me, I've just managed to see... Not managed to see, I've just seen... Is that a little nick in it? Even though they look new, look, I don't think they'd be more much... But there's a little nick in it there. And let me tell you, right, this woman, whoever owned these, she had some cruddies, right? Because I can see some dirt down the side here. That might be where her feet have, like, been, been in it. And they might have had dirt on them. They might have sweated. And the sweat's all... <gasps> <coughs> Just the thought of it is making me up, Chuck. So, I mean... It doesn't like to. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? That's my epic fail, okay? That is the most foul thing I've ever done and ever got from a chap. What was I thinking? I mean, I've got to clean them if I want to wear them. I don't think I'm going to wear them. It's made me unnecessary. I'm really unnecessary right now. They are vile. That's vile. You dirty split ass is all I can say. <laughs> ah, whoever wore them, that is. At least you don't know who I am. Oh, right. Oh. 
they're going in the bag. I'm not even there to pull it because they're going in the bag, mate. Anyway, um, anyone fancy cleaning a pair of size 8 Ego shoes for me? If you do it, you girl up. Uh, anyway, so today I went in the charity shop near me. And now, let me tell you, I got a bag of the cinch in there. So, look at this. This is an extra small. It was originally £50. £22.99 was what it was in the sale in Zara. Yeah. Then, in the Fertility Foundation, they put it up for a tenner, then down to a fiver, and today they put it on for a quid. And that, my dears, is going on to Vinted. Help with my little uh, boy's veterinary bills. So it's got like shoulder pads in it. I'll only put it up for a fiver. Do you know what I mean? But I only paid a four, uh, four quid. I only paid a quid for it, so I would have made four pounds. So there's it's got shoulder pads. And it's like a little peplum. I mean, come on, for a Zara, brand new. It's just like a little peplum top. And it's got these lovely little, look, shiny bits on the end but yeah even if i just put that up for 4.99 do you know what i mean made a couple of quids which will help towards my eugene poojine but look no mate no so i've got that for pounds everything i've got today from the charity shop was only a pound uh then i got this Again, this is a brand new uh, dress and it says on it, Be Jealous from the Fertility Foundation. That out for a fiver and down to a pound. It is a medium. So look, fiver down to a pound. It is a medium and obviously this is the top half of it, but it is stretch, obviously. And it is just a really long, 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 long navy blue maxi dress. Um, so I'll wash that up. And I'll try it on. And again, if it doesn't, if it doesn't fit or it clings to the books too much, I'll whack it on Vintardo. So that, or I might even put it in a, in in the bundle of clothes that whoever's going to win might even do that. I see how generous I'm being. Uh, and then this is also on the pound rail. Um, so it was initially, 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 originally fiver down to a pound again like so and again it's another one of those bandau they call bandau dresses aren't they so it's like that again that will fit me um, and it's very 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 long maxi dress but you know when they're a pound you can't go wrong because like i say even if it doesn't fit i can just put it onto vintage so Nice maxi dress, yep. So that, uh, and then I found this. And Callie said, "Oh, mum, that's well pretty." And I was like, oh, "No, it is. It's so pretty." Um, so it's originally from Next. They had it up for five fifty down to a pound, and it's a size large. And I love the neck on it. So it's like a jumper, like so, but it's got sleeves. Look sleeves with this beautiful embroidery but look at look at this bit oh i love it hey there's a button missing there ain't one missing the other side but anyway it's all right it's still pretty um no one's gonna maybe notice it is beautiful. I'm just wondering if these arms will fit my... I think so. Yeah, I think so. I don't think my arms are massive. But yeah, it's um, stretchy. So it will go over the books. It, having said that, it might be tight on the books. But it'll go over the books. So yeah. Pretty, right? And it smells of washing powder, that one. So oh, there you go. Anyway, so that was my uh, charity shop haul, along with a bit of jibber jabbering. Um, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed it. I just want to say uh, thank you to all my new subscribers um, and all my existing subscribers and for always giving me the most beautiful comments. Um, if you do like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot to me. Give me a thumbs up and hit your notification bell because it will tell you every time that I upload. I do have a lot of stuff coming up. I've got some collabs with some, a couple of clothing companies 
thing I did tell you lot that. So I will be filming that next week. Um, unfortunately, with this editing malarkey, what I might have to do, I might have to show you the clothes, put that on, and then do the try on separately, and then just whack that on maybe the same day, but obviously maybe half hour or an hour later or something like that. Because, like I say, this uh, I've got two editors. I'm so I'm so, I'm just not professional. Listen, I say it all the time. I am not the brightest of sparks. I do sometimes get things wrong. I do say things wrong. Sometimes I watch my videos back and I'm like, you're such a dickhead because I'll say something and it doesn't make sense. Or I'll say, it sounds like I've said one thing and then I've said another, but they're both true in a certain fact. Or what? And I just think, Lisa, you're a dickhead. You're an actual dickhead. Sometimes my brain don't compute and it just comes and spews out a load of old shite, to be honest with you. Um, why was I saying that? I don't know why I was saying that, but it's true, all right? It's true. It's true, I tell you. Um, but like I say, I'm not profesh, all right? I could just about put a like and subscribe on. Listen, I've learned to do uh, the thumbnails. I have learned to do a thumbnail and stuff like that because I didn't do them for quite some time. Ow! Um, and what else have I learned to do? Yeah, of course, I've got these two crappy editors. And then... And then uh, it goes a funny colour. It got, makes me look a funny colour as well, like I'm grey. Um, I need to learn how to edit. I need to learn how to put... Like, I you know people, they'll put like, ooh, this was a pound. And as they hold it up, a pound note comes up there. You've got to be joking, mate. I don't know what to do. I haven't got... Yeah, you might say to me, oh, we'll sit and have a look. Ain't nobody got time for that. I'm a busy gal. I have so much to do in my day. Listen, it's about the only time I sit down when I do my videos. Um, and I just, I don't know, can anyone just quickly advise me? Tell me something quick. Like, quickly. What's the quick way of editing? And when I try to edit on this damn phone, right, it tells me, tells me, oh, you've not got enough storage. You can't do it. I'm like, good looks. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm soz about that, you know. And when it keeps bloody cutting off, really getting on my wickies, getting right on my frip knees. But anyway, listen, like I say, hopefully, <coughs> I've now deleted a few more things. So, hopefully, um, the next video may be better. And I need to learn how to edit because I'm crap. I'm not profesh. And that's it. That's all I've got to say. Yeah. I'd like to do all that malarkey. I just can't do it. I know you lot don't really care anyway. <laughs> I know you probably would say, oh, we don't just want to see you. And I don't want to see you in the dark grey like you're saying. But I don't think you care if I write prices or anything. None of you have ever said, do you know what, Lise? You're crap. You never tell us the price. I don't think any of you care anyway. So why do I need to be profesh? No, I'll just be me. What you see is always what you get, whether you like it or bleed not. Alright, anyway, listen, I've got loads of hauls coming up. I've got some ghost stories. I'm going to tell some ghost stories, tell some medical stories. Um, what else? I think that's it. Anyway, love you lots. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. By the way, I can do robotic clip. I know you're jealous. Bye! <laughs>